continue. Hi, everyone. Welcome to this week's Business Showcase. Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Natalie Patterson from Oscar and Ivy Hair Co. Oscar and Ivy Hair Co are located in the heart of Bustleton and are a boutique hair lounge who provide transformational hair experiences in a personalized, fluid and refreshing way. They were also finalists in six categories for the 2020 Southwest Business Excellence Awards and were winners of the Small Business Award. And Natalie, you yourself took out the award for the Employee of the Year. Thank you so much for joining me. What an accolade. Hi, thank you for having me. Yeah, it was a, an amazing experience. At the gala night, you guys had your entire team there. It was amazing. Did you guys have the best time? We did. We had such a good time. So we had, yeah, our whole team there of um, 12 staff and all their partners came along too. So we made the most of it and we made it a real um, team boosting sort of night and it just upped our staff morale and it was just, it was a pleasure to be there. Yeah. And now I've seen on your website, you guys refer to yourselves as a little bit of girl gang. Is, is what's that about? <laughs> Well, at the moment we're a girl gang, but as of next week, we'll be having a gentleman join our team. So we won't be able to refer to us, ourselves as the girl gang anymore. But yes, we've got a really great team. Um, everyone is, we, this is our Oscar and Ivy family. So um, everyone treats each other as we would our family with respect and we look out for each other. And yeah, it's not about just the workplace. It's about everything. Amazing. So tell me about how Oscar and Ivy started and it's gone through such a big transformational growth period lately. So where did yeah. it all begin? It has. So it began in February of 2017. Um, Marinda, who is the co-owner of the salon, um, she bought the salon and it was like a 1980s themed black and red um, salon with three staff. Um, from there, by the end of the year, I think it had grown to six staff. And then um, as of last year, December last year, I jumped on board and I'm now co-owner of the salon. So when I started working for Marinda of September of 2017, um, we just found that just right from the start, our views and our dreams about what we would want a business to look like clicked. Um, and we snipped our way into a friendship and we just decided that the future of Oscar, and o, um, of Oscar and Ivy would be better together. So now we're creating the future together and it's, yeah, it's amazing. And you've just mentioned that you're growing again by getting another team member. Yes. We do, have do you got, need more space now? Do you <laughs> need more space. So I think we're in that 46 square metres at the moment or something like that. And I mean, it's on the cards to get a, a bigger space, but we've sort of outgrown this space for now, but um, it's working for us at this present moment, but we, it is on the cards for the future to definitely grow to a bigger space. Amazing. Now, one thing I love that you guys do is your social media. Your stories are the funnest things to watch every day. What helps you drive that you know, what helps you do that social media and, and keep that engagement with your followers? Thank you so much. Um, so back in the beginning, I mean, it's all been a learning thing. We sort of didn't show anything of ourselves. We just showed hair. And then along the way, it started to get more personal. And I think that's where people really started to engage and really like it. It's nice to see the people behind what's happening as well. So now it feels like we've created a community of friends um, that do like to follow our, just our fun things as well. So um, we've done a few social media training that attended some training courses. We've got two receptionists now that job share a role. So we've got a full-time receptionist, which is quite unique for a salon um, in this area. Um, but they are sort of in charge of making sure they capture little snippets throughout the day and a um, bit of behind the scenes and just a bit of fun, just everything really, as well as the hair. Obviously, the main focus is still the hair and our clients, but it's nice to show a bit of personality on social media as well. Yeah, I definitely think it's helped create a beautiful community that you have with your followers and your clients. Um, yeah. Because it's wonderful to see your business growing in that way. And, and it is very unique to have that social media sort of thing. So let's talk about um, your future plans. 
Like, where are you guys going? You're talking about growing into a bigger space. What else is next for Oscar and Ivy? Oh, gosh. So, yeah, definitely um, it's been such a, a fast growth. I think Marinda didn't even anticipate that would be where we are today. So, definitely to move to a bigger space would be our number one goal. Um, and then we've just got lots of, I guess, small things as well for the future. So, um, we're trying to be as sustainable as possible. So little changes all the time. We're constantly making changes to adapt um, to that. And we've currently got two Oscar and Ivy chickens that hopefully will be featuring on our Instagram tomorrow, maybe. So they're going to be our salon chickens. They live at my house, but our lunch scraps will go to them. So we're really thinking of like every little thing that we can do um, to help the planet and just to make this a really nice environment and something unique. And that is one of the awards that you were finalists in is was the Environmental Responsibility Award, which I think is is wonderful. What other sort of sustainable practices do you have implemented in your salon? Because I know sometimes people say that salons have a lot of a lot of waste. How yeah. do you manage that? So this industry is known for having a lot of waste and it typically Typically, we do have a lot of waste. Um, we've joined a movement called Sustainable Salons and that we've been with them for a couple of years now. Um, so we have a truck that comes down from Perth once a month and they collect our waste once a month, once a fortnight, once a fortnight. Um, so we put all of our waste into separate bins. So all the foil goes into a bin, all the paper, all the plastics, even the chemical waste, we only have very little chemical waste, but that goes into a tub as well. Um, and then everything either gets re recycled, repurposed or um, reused. So yeah, 95% of our waste is repurposed. Amazing. And then we've got that small amount of food waste from staff. Um, and that's now going to be consumed by the sullen chickens. And yeah, then just very minimal waste after that. Um, we use some water. We'll look into maybe getting some some sort of water saving taps. We've had them before, um, but you can't compromise on the quality of the service for the clients as well. And we just found that the ones that we ha have had previously weren't exactly right. So we'll be on the hunt for different things like that to help with our sustainability as well. That's amazing. And it's so inspiring to hear the different ways that you guys are looking at your own waste, your own sustainability and, and looking after the environment, which in the Southwest, we all kind of, we all kind of love to look after the environment, which is beautiful. Yeah. So, everyone's definitely more aware of what they're putting in their bodies and on their bodies and how you can be the best person for the planet. So it's really good. So talking about putting things on your body and in your body, what sort of products do you use in your salon for that sort of stuff? Yeah. So we use original mineral um, is our color range. And that's the lowest chemical colour range in the world. Um, so it's very gentle. It doesn't have any smells and no compromise on quality. So we tried a lot of different products and we had to have that quality if we were going to change to a natural product. So we found this range is just ideal. So um, no compromise on quality, but low tox, the lowest tox colour that you can get. Um, and it's got, yeah, all sorts of good things in there. And it's fine to put on your skin and it's even people that have um, in the past have allergies to colour, they haven't reacted to this. So it's really great. Um, with our retail range as well, we are vegan, cruelty free, um, recycled plastics and things like that. So it's our whole culture in the salon to be aware of those things. And we don't offer any, any retail product or anything that goes against our values. That's amazing. What a unique way to operate as a business to, to really bring in your values into every single aspect of what you're doing from your waste management, your environmental things, as well as the products that your clients are, are being given. So that is very exciting. Now I've got one last question for you. Are you going to apply for the 2021 Southwest Business Excellence Awards? Oh, we love to apply for awards. We we just think it's just the best. It's great to get feedback from judges. Um, it's great to analyze your business and find 
even looking back on previous awards and then seeing where you're at today, it's just very rewarding and also um, just a great, great way to self-evaluate where you're at. So I definitely recommend awards to any business, whether you're in whatever, whatever area you're in, awards are a definite great way to um, review your business and boost your stuff for morale if you get everyone on board for the gala night. Yeah, well, I, uh, I hope to see your application this year and see how many awards you guys take out this year. I, it's exciting. <laughs> Thanks so much. Well, thank you so much for your time. And we will hopefully uh, talk to you after the awards this year and see how things have gone. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank and you. thank you for having me. Thank you.